Thanks. Thanks for almost crippling me. I should have known you were a bastard. Because I'm sure some other punters in that cheap joint where I picked you up so easily laughed at knowing laugh. I only had to spend one pound fifty on myself before I had you bagged. Thanks for letting me quietly take you back to my place and after stripping you almost bare you almost only took minutes to get you hot when I put your steaming meat in my mouth I burst into sweats of pleasure and desire for that I thank you we had a few cold beers together whilst the television showed all those strong muscly men in shiny tight shirts God you were fantastic during the break I had more of you till I was fully satisfied but you were not and you kept quiet till late that night and cosy in bed you awoke me and whilst I laid half dazed you raped my innards impervious to my muscled screams of pain I thank you not for that. But when you finally left me this morning, you didn't give a shit about me. Although I know I did about you. I loved you last night till you did that to me. Even as I cried, hugging myself on the toilet. My anus damaged. From your savage onslaught, I swore never again would I allow myself to be so misled and taken for such a ride. But you know that being the weakling that I am, I will return to let you have me once again. How can I thank you for that? I've kept a photograph you gave me. I threw it away, but I took it out the bin so I can show the world what a bastard you are. Yep. Ah, many thanks, Iceland. That new recipe, Madras curry, is the fucking bollocks. Great for a good burnout when we're watching the rugby. Come on, the Springboks. Oh.